In this video, we're going to be looking at how to get the, uh, how to convert the weighted draw scores into standard scores and how to get the percentile rank because that's actually what goes on the IEP. So this is where we need to refer to administration and scoring manual. So you need to turn to the section that has, the tab says appendices. And in this section, you have all of the tables that refer to um, the standard scores. This section is actually organized into three terms. So you can see here the grade-based sub subtest standard scores for fall, okay? And then you have winter right here. So we've got winter. And then finally, we have spring, okay? Now within each term, each grade level is also has its own section. So if you look here, it goes from kindergarten, so this is fall kindergarten, through to grade, right through to grade uh, 12, 11, sorry, 11 then, and then 12. Right, so the same applies to winter, so each grade has its own section from kindergarten to grade 12, and then also to spring. So we're going to be looking at spring because the student that we assessed is actually in grade 11 and it's spring. So this is grade 10, we need to flip it over to the grade 11. Okay, okay. so there is the grade 11. Um, subtest standard score for spring. So very similar to the way the table was set up for the grade equivalent. Um, this is essentially the same format, but we're looking at different scores. So if you look at it along the top, subtested weighted raw scores. So these are the scores we're working with. And then they're for word reading, reading comprehension, spelling, numerical operations, just like the other table. And we're looking for standard score. So you see the heading on that gray column on the left, standard score. Mm -hmm. So that is the number that we're trying to find. Mm -hmm. So our student here, their weighted raw score for word reading was 123. So let's take a look at the table for word reading. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go down there until we find that 123. And there it is. And the standard score is 59. So once we find that standard score, we're now going to write it under standard score and right next to word reading on the front of the student record form. And now we need to find our standard score for the reading comprehension. So our weighted raw score is 132. Mm -hmm. So we're back to our table and we're in the reading comprehension column and we're going to find that 132 number. So let's go down here, to the top here, and there it is, 132. Here. And the score, corresponding standard score is 77. So we're going to write that in our um, box next to reading comprehension. Now we're going to add the two standard scores, the 59 plus the 77, and that gives us a total standard score. And what we need to do now is we need to go to another um, guide, another table, to find out the total composite standard score. So to find that table, we go to A80, Appendix A, Table A2, Grade-Based Reading Composite Standard Score. It's just up, you know, across from the additional grade-based tables, Appendix B. So. Here again, you see the standard score in that gray column on the left, okay? And the set of the composite scores are in the white area. So what was our number there again? 136. 136. So we're gonna go down the white columns until we find 136. And okay. there it is. So the standard composite score is 66. All right, so now okay. you put that into the that box there on the bottom. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. 
All right, so now we want to take those standard scores and we now need to find the percentile rank. So this is where we find that percentile rank. It's appendix B, B3. And it actually says at the top percentile ranks. So notice this table, it actually starts at the highest number and goes down right. to the lowest number, which is um, 40. So what we need to do now is find our first number, which is number uh, standard score 59. So we're going to find that number on here in the gray column. Okay. So there it is right there. Okay, 59. Okay. Right there. And right across from it is 0 0.3 is the percentile rank. Okay. okay. And that is the number that we put right here on right that there. first column there. Yeah, percentile rank 0 0.3. So now we're going to find the percentile score for um, the standard score, 77. So again, we're back over to our table. So let's find the 77 in the gray column, and there it is. And the percentile rank is 6. Okay. So we're going to write the 6 in here. Okay, there it is. All right. Good, yeah. So the next score we're going to look at is the composite score, which is 66. Okay. So if you remember, we added the word reading, the reading comprehension, and we converted it to the composite standard score of 66. Right. Okay. So now we're back over to our table and we need to find right 66 in the gray column. There it is. And the percentile rank is 1. Okay. So we write that over in our percentile rank column pretty much covers how to uh, convert weighted raw scores into standard scores and into percentile ranks. So do you have any questions about that? Uh, no, that seems pretty clear, but I just have a question about uh, why we use the, uh, for example, the 4-5 form uh, when scoring. When the student is actually in grade, in grade 11. 11. When, yeah. So, right. So if you remember, if you just go back again to this student, the student's word reading grade equivalent, it was 3-9, right? Right. So that was that subtest, that word reading subtest was 3-9. Okay. So we could not give her the grade 9 to 11, even though she's in 11. Right. We can't give her the, the 9 to 11. It wouldn't be fair. She yeah. wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. So we gave her the grades um, 4 to 5, which we marked off here. We gave right. her that yeah. four to five, five reading comprehension. So the manual states that you mark the reading comprehension subtest based on the grade booklet you gave the student, not okay. the grade they're in, right. okay? However, when it comes to the actual standard score, yeah. it says right here in the manual, however, use the examinee's current grade age in order to determine the subtest and composite standard scores. Okay? Right. So that's why we use, you know, one table to get the grade equivalent right. and then the other table to get the standard scored scores and percentile rank. Good. Okay, that makes sense? Yeah.